So for the last few years, we've been working on developing a soprano that would be have all the attributes and a horn that I would like. Of course, the boar, which though is similar, is slightly different, developed by a guy named Benedict Eppelsheim, who's in Munich, quite a instrument uh, innovator. So he did something different with the board, his technical things I'm not sure of. Um, but we've done a, quite a bit with the fingerings and with some of the, you see this little E flat C thing here. And of course the cosmetics of it and so forth, and the heights of the keys, because Kyleworth always has the adjustable side keys, as you know, as you should know. And I raised these a little bit, made the left pinky thing a little more facile and so forth. In any case, the Liebman model will hopefully be on the market soon. Uh, Kyle Worth, as we speak, this is uh, September of 2010. Kyle Worth was just recently bought or rebought by Buffet, and that's a you know very legitimate, long-standing company. So it appears, as of two nights ago, a meeting I had with somebody, the horn will be on the market. So that's the reason for me to be offering this horn, because I, as I said about the tenor, I'm not a collector of horns. I really don't need more than two or three just to back myself up. But when I have a main horn, that's the one I use. And this was my main soprano for a while. Then it was supplanted by another one that I like a little better. And now that one has been supplanted by <laughs> the Liebman Model 001. So I hope uh, if, you, if you purchase it, you'll enjoy it. And if you ever do, please come up to me and tell me you got my horn. Well, a lot of people ask about this thing here. This uh, looks like, <laughs> looks weird. And uh, the reason for this, and this came through the suggestion of Emilio from Rayburn's. And here we are in Boston, exactly where Rayburn's is. And uh, what I was having was a little problem with saliva going from the bottom of, <laughs> maybe it's just me, but from the bottom of the mouthpiece directly into the octave key. Not when I played like this, but if I was in a studio or home playing, where my angle was more sitting, the spit would go directly into the octave key, and of course you can't get a C sharp, it's completely messed up. So I went to Emilio, this has got to be 15, 20 years ago, and I said, Emilio, I don't know what to do. He said, no, take some epoxy, 